Hi everyone, I'm B. Swerkelhausen, and today I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to show you all the amazing new features of the latest content creator pack, Train Stations. The Train Stations pack features 16 new stations, with 6 rail stations, 6 metro stations, and 4 transport hubs, all designed and created by Bad Peanut. You might already know Bad Peanut from his Steam Workshop full of great assets, and this content creator pack takes his work to another level and makes it available on consoles for the first time. The six train stations in the pack are each designed to fit different use cases in your city, allowing you to use the perfect station for every track configuration. For starters, the Ground Island Platform Station is a great modern station for your city. The Wide Island Platform makes transfers between lines easy, the modern architecture and landscaping make it look great for your fancy neighborhoods. For your busier lines, the ground bypass station lets trains stop without blocking the main line tracks in the middle. This is perfect for outside connections or lines with a lot of surface, where a two-track station would make trains wait behind others. The ground dual island platform is sort of the opposite. It's great for when you want a lot of services to stop without holding other trains up, and it's perfect for transfers between multiple lines. If you've built out a busy rail network in-game, you'll know that nothing snarls up your road traffic like a busy railroad crossing. So it's a huge relief that the train stations pack comes with elevated train stations too. Each of the new ground stations has a brand new elevated version to keep your train tracks above city streets. The elevated island station is good for lower traffic train lines, and the bypass and dual island elevated stations are the perfect fit for areas with lots of train traffic that needs to stay out of the way of busy roads or anything else that you have on ground level. The Train Stations Content Creator Pack comes with six new metro stations as well, each designed to be nice and compact to fit perfectly in built-up areas without blocking a lot of the zoning grid. There are three sunken metro stations, which give you a window into your metro system and let you instantly see how many sims are waiting at each stop and when trains arrive. As with the train stations, the layouts are the two-track sunken island station, the four-track two-platform sunken bypass station for express services, and the high-capacity four-track four-platform sunken dual island station. The island and dual island stations are even set up to provide easy transfers to road transit, with the road connection being right over the middle of the platform, letting you place bus stops directly on top of the metro. If elevated metros are more your style, the train stations pack comes with the island, bypass, and dual island metro stations as elevated stations too. These each have super compact footprints built across roads, so there's almost no impact to the zoning grid letting you build right up next to the stations and the tracks, while being able to watch your metro speed around your city. The last part of the train station's creator pack are the giant and impressive rail hubs. These hubs are perfect for critical transfer points, as they let lots of lines all meet without interference. The crossover rail hub has eight platforms all meeting up at a single station, with four platforms on the elevated upper level and four platforms on the sunken lower level. This hub is a great way to have four very busy lines meet, since it's just like using two dual island stations in one building. The Old Market Station is the perfect stop for your super busy routes right in the middle of your city. It has four separate elevated tracks, which means that you get eight platforms all in a relatively compact package that looks great in a historic district or in your downtown. It's the perfect station for when you need a lot of lines to meet up all without interfering with each other. The Glass Box Transport Hub can be the new heart of your transportation network. With six island platforms serving 12 train tracks and a four-track dual island elevated metro station, this massive hub can serve more passengers than you might ever need, and it's a great way to get people from intercity trains right onto your metro. Finally, the Metro Plaza. This thing is the king of all metro stops, with 10 platforms and four bypass tracks. It's the perfect hub for a sprawling metro network, letting riders transfer to lines going anywhere in your city. The super cool open air design lets you keep tabs on how your system is running and lets you see exactly where riders are going and what lines they're transferring to. With so many tracks and platforms, there's always action. And if you're like me, you'll spend hours watching your metro trains come and go in the metro plaza. And that wraps it up for Bad Peanut's amazing new train station content creator pack. Train Stations is available now for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Links to the stores are in the description, and remember, as with all content creator packs, a portion of the proceeds goes directly to the pack's creator, Bad Peanut. 
Thanks so much for watching this video and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more City Skylines content and happy building.